So before we go outside of this little shop area, we need to talk to you. What you need? Let's chat. Can't find your buddies? I'll take care of you. Thank you for the insightful information there, Sid. Anyways, let's get out of here. We're gonna need to go to the east side of town, right by this house? No, it's got a menu on it. Uh, hold on, let's take a look at this here. We got bottled drinks, dessert van waffle. oh, dessert waffles, not vanilla, dessert waffles. We got snacks, ice cream, hot dogs, baked potatoes, and pizza. What? Hold on a minute. $95 for pizza? And, like, $85 for a bottled drink? This place is a ripoff! Who would want to spend 90 bucks for pizza and $85 for a bottled drink? Like, come on, man. Hey, buddy, what's up? This is the item workshop, Koopo. We're researching item synthesis and super weapon forging. Good to know. What's up, big guy? The door leads to the second district. Beyond that lies the third district. Cool. Um, let's go this way, I guess. To the second district. Oh, hey, buddy, what's up? Oh, cool, you're just dying. Sweet. Hey, where'd they gonna go? Hey, you guys know where that guy uh, went? Oh, wait, it's the creatures from the island. Um, I, I, well, I guess we're gonna have to kill him then. So, I didn't say it in the last episode for some stupid reason, but these guys are heartless. But not just any heartless, these are shadow heartless. The weakest form of the heartless. There's like a crud ton of them, so yeah, that's why I said that. So, these guys are pretty good for grinding some XP at the beginning of the game, so... You want to grind some money or ESP? Just take these guys out and you're good. I mean, look at that. They dropped a lot of green balls and money. Ooh, hotel. Doesn't look like he's here. He dropped some money, though. Keep walking! Yes, I butchered Donald's boy. Shut up. Um... Currently closed off. Okay. Uh... Ooh, this is a nice room. Dang it, that's occupied. Uh, hello? 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 Oh! I didn't even know that can happen! I thought you can just hit the bell randomly and just for fun, but no, you can hit it a couple of times and it'll say no vacancy. That's actually pretty cool. Aha! I knew there was some guys hiding around here. Sorry guys, this hotel has no vacancy. Thank you for dropping your lucid shard. Um, that's a, uh, item, but not like a healing item or anything. It's just an item that will be kind of, sort of, not really important later when a certain thing unlocks, but just keep that in mind. In fact, if you go to your items and stock, a gem shard containing its essence of emptiness, used for item synthesis. Oh, and pre-stones, I looked it up, um, they don't really do anything aside from you just selling them. So... There's like, I think, five in the game, so if you want to sell them, great. If you want to keep them because of reasons, go ahead. How do I have an hour and ten minutes? Oh yeah, because my last recording was an hour long. Anyways, more guys to kill, sweet! Which means more XP and more green balls to drop. Which I don't need, but I like collecting them anyways. Let's just go through the door to the gizmo shop. Dang it, I'm dropping money. Where is he? Leon! I'm sure those guys won't be important later. Um, hi, buddy. Goodbye, buddy. Wait, is there another guy? Oh, there he is. He's trying to hide from me so I won't get XP. So I'm gonna level up. Take that. Ow! Macking me in the air? Dang, you are a form pro at this. Which is why you deserve the bonk. Let's leave. Uh, hey, a ladder! Kind of wobbly. Guess I can't climb it now. Yeah, I probably have to wait on that one, so let's go down. Uh, door. No. Door! Dalvasion's house? 
Not here either. This, this could take a while. The 99 puppies were lost amid the chaos of their world's destruction. Find them in various worlds. So these two right here are Dalmatians. If you didn't know what Dalmatians looked like. Anyway. So later on I'll show off kind of what they are and what the whole purpose of them is. But it's to make it a long story short, it's a fetch quest of dogs. So if you like dogs and you like rescuing them, this is the game for you. Except you don't keep the dogs in real life. They're just for this one game and one game only. Yo, actually speaking of like games and such, uh, like for characters, I want to address something incorrect I made uh, from the last episode where I said the three Final Fantasy character kids from the first episode, Waka, Titus, and Selfie, actually make a, one more appearance in a game in uh, Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories and Rechain of Memories, but that's basically like a like a game that ap comes after the uh, Kingdom Hearts one. So I mean. If you want to be technical and say that they are in another game, then you can say that they are in Chain of Memories or Rechain of Memories. If you want, again, if you want to be technical, but... Oh, I just forgot. But can you blame me? I mean, they're like characters no one really cares about. Kind of. And they don't really show up a lot in the series. And then they only show up in like 1 plus 2 games, so... Technically true. I'm just rambling on at this point. I just want to kill some guys and talk to people and that's it. Let's go to district number three. I don't even think I'm supposed to be here yet, but here I am. Oh, more guys. Bonk. I love it when you just like smack them so hard they just start flying away. Oh, here we go. We got the combo going. Oh, we got a vacant house. Hold on, we need to go in there. Buddy, I need you to die so I can go break into a house. Thank you. Definitely a vacant house. What's down here? Oh, hey, a guy. Die. Air bonk. Oh, there's a whole lot more guys. Which means more XP from me. Actually, you didn't die yet. There you go. Okay, how many more guys are gonna be showing up here? Come on, I just want to explore the town before I get the plot moving. Come on. I also want to level up, so hurry it up. Oh, hey, that's the lady in a tramp. Cool. I forgot that that was actually a reference in this game. But I mean, that's like literally like a corner reference, so you easy to miss. So, can you blame me? There we go, we got Slapshot and a raise of XP. Let's go. That is an ability, and you can use your AP points for it. I think it's uh, short for ability points. But all I know is, is that rapidly strike enemies ahead of you occasionally deals critical damage. Equipped it. So I think we need to go this way. To oh wait, that's closed off. Looks like it's locked. You have a key, use it. Even if it's the wrong one, just use it for research purposes, okay? Oh, by the way... Keep a little note of that for later. There's a kind of sort of little reason for it. It's not like important for the lore or plot or anything like that. What I do know is that my phone's going off, so... I need to go over to the place for where the... Oh, hang on! Hey! Hey, I was trying to get on my phone! It did a different animation, I think, so... So at least you now know that a slap shot is slap shot. Stop getting on the floor, you coward. Oh, hey, more lucid shards. Well, it certainly helps for grinding, but I don't really need it. But I do need some more money, though. Does someone need, like, a fountain? Yeah, it is. I need to see water there. Okay, so I might just be fighting these guys for a little bit, so I'll see you, like, wait back to the- Really? 
Oh, an alleyway. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Uh, uh, let me try again. <clears throat> Leon, I'm Mr. Leon. Where are you? I think I'm just going to keep on butchering Donald's voice for the rest of this video and maybe a future other ones. Because it's funny. Also, I didn't even realize that there was actually that little bit right there where, you know, you go the alleyway and then they just show up at that specific point. Ow! You better drop green balls. Thank you. I have an important fight going up, and I am definitely not making this episode another hour long. But I do know is that there was a chest over here. Don't think I didn't see you there. Mr. Potion. What's in these? Absolutely nothing. Cool. Oh, and over here you see another chest, but you can't get it until later. Oh! I just walked right past that guy. I didn't even realize he spawned in. Should be the last of them. Okay, let's go. Make our way over here. Oh, we're going back to the Dalmatian's house. Cool. All right, I am going to cut myself up to where I make it back to the uh, accessory shop because that's where you need to go to continue with the story. What the? Okay, cool. You wanted to be on there for the high ground, I guess. But unfortunately, you went to the down ground, so... No, not down ground, not low ground. Oh, hey, a potion. Cool. I need a lot of those anyway, because I have an upcoming fight. And I need to heal. Because I'm going to get hit at least once. Uh, give me that potion. Cool. Okay, so, what? Never mind! We got more fight going on! Like, jeez, guys! Just let me just... I don't know, go to the shop, talk to Sid, say hi, and then go fight a guy. I also need to check up on my thing. So, just, would you kindly die? Thank you. Blue, good. Alright, where are we at here? Status, I believe. Alright, so we are at level 6. I need 38 for the next level? Jeez. Okay. And I do have 246 money. And items, I have... Three potions. Okay, that's pretty cool. Oh! Plus six. Why don't we add that on there? Now we're stacked on items. Ready to go for the next fight. Let's go. That's not a heartless. Hey, Sid, what's up? Still haven't found them? Chin up, take another look around town. What you need? What will it be? Alright. So yeah, you can actually buy some, like, chains and rings and stuff here for raising defense and reducing fire, ice, and lightning damage. And also raising a P and dark damage, which we don't know what it is yet. Alright, come again. I recommend saving. I'm so used to playing this on the next box. Anyways, just to double check. Yeah, we good. They'll come at you out of nowhere. Who are you? And they'll keep on coming at you. As long as you continue to wield the Keyblade. But why? Why would it choose a kid like you? Hey, what's that supposed to mean? Never mind. Now, let's see that Keyblade. What? There's no way you're getting this. All right. Then have it your way. 
Ladies and gentlemen, this is Leon, aka Squall. Wow, that was actually pretty good because I couldn't even see the freaking fireball. Ow. I didn't mean to un unlock, unlock you. Ow. Um, so, this guy is from Final Fantasy VIII, I believe. And you can call him Squall or Leon, it doesn't matter, they both go either way. And this is a fight that you can actually lose and the whole story will continue on like normal. Because you're gonna faint anyways. Oh, you're slipping, Leon. I went easy on him. Looks like things are worse than we thought. A lot worse. Gorsh, there's nobody here. Sure is spooky. Actually, I'm not scared. Excuse me, did the king send you? Come on, lazy bum. Wake up. <sighs> You okay? Uh, I guess. Those creatures that attacked you are after the Keyblade. But it's your heart they really want. Because you wield the Keyblade. I'm so glad that you're okay, Kyrie. Kyrie? Who are you talking about? I'm the great ninja Yuffie. Hmm? I think you might have overdone it, Squall. That's Leon. The Keyblade. Yeah, we had to get it away from you to shake off those creatures. It turns out, that's how they were tracking you. It was the only way to conceal your heart from them. But it won't work for long. Still, hard to believe that you, of all people, are the chosen one. Oh. Well... I suppose beggars can't be choosers. Why don't you start making sense? What's going on here? Okay. You know there are many other worlds out there, besides your castle in this town, right? Yeah. But they're supposed to be a secret. They've been secret, because they've never been connected. Until now. When the Heartless came, everything changed. The Heartless? The ones who attacked you, you remember? Those without hearts. The darkness in people's hearts, that's what attracts them. And there is darkness within every heart. Hey, have you heard of someone named Ansem? I am Sam? He was studying the Heartless. He recorded all of his findings in a very detailed report. Gorge. Oh, can we see it? Its pages are scattered everywhere. Scattered? Too many worlds. Oh, then maybe the king went to find them. Yes, those were my thoughts exactly. We've got to find them quick. Red! Right. Gosh, we need that king. That's right. 
the Keyblade. So, this is the key. Exactly. The Heartless have great fear of the Keyblade. That's why they'll keep coming after you, no matter what. Well, I didn't ask for this. The Keyblade chooses its master, and it chose you. So, tough luck. How did all this happen? I remember being in my room. <gasps> Wait a minute! What happened to my home? My island! Riku! Kairi! You know what? I really don't know. Okay, there is a lot to unpack here, so I'm going to do some normal gameplay stuff and then just as while I do that, I'm going to be talking about all of the cutscenes that happened. So starting off, we need to save, because of course. Then I need to steal this item. Never mind. So, you talk to that guy and then he'll let you out, but what's important here? I think that the Keyblade can open all sorts of locks. You don't say! You don't say! Give it a try the next time you find a treasure chest or door lock. And then she just says the same thing. So, first of all, this here is Yuk Yuki? Yuf Yuffie. Yuffie. I, yeah, Yuffie from uh, Final Fantasy VII. So, um, yeah, Leon, we kicked his butt, but he said that he went easy on us, which is BS because I completely own him. Speaking of which, sooner or later, the Heartless will find you. You'd best prepare yourself. Prepare myself? Fight your life. Ready? Yeah! Yuffie, go join Aerith. You should be there by the uh, by now with the other visitors. Leon! Yuffie, go! Yuffie! Sora, let's go! Sorry, I had to. Don't bother with the small fry. Find the leader. Let's go. Or was- wait. Wait, was that Leon saying let's go or was that Sora? Anyways, these guys are... I want to say... Soldier Heartless? Or just regular Heartless? I don't know. There's a way to know what the names of these guys are, are later, but... Again, that's later, so... We won't know. I'll just call them Soldier Heartless for now. But anyways... The other character that the uh, Leon mentioned was Aerith. Oh, hey, level up with strength up. And spirit chart. Okay, that's another synthesis, synthesis item. I can't speak. Anyways, Aerith is from Final Fantasy VII, which um, is awesome. Except, like, yo, it doesn't make sense that she's here because she should be dead. But, you know, wait, spoiler alert. Yeah, she should be dead. But anyways, more Heartless. And that cutscene where Riku was laying on the ground and trying to speak, but, like, nothing was coming up. That, I believe, was a addition to the Kingdom Hearts Final Mix, like, update slash viewer-ish game on the PS2, which was basically, like, the same exact game as Kingdom Hearts 1, but with slightly different things and added new things to it. Yeah, that makes sense to me, but, like, it's legit. Anyways, yeah, that's a new addition, and no, I didn't edit the cutscene. There literally isn't any voice acting in the uh, cutscene. It's just Riku calling for Sora and Kairi with, like, no voices being heard at all. Because I think it's supposed to add in, like, I don't know, something, like, mysterious, like, added atmosphere or something like that. I don't know. Also, we'll figure out who that person was with the weird claw thingy on there. All I know is, is that we're fighting guys and I'm leveling up. I think we're fully caught up, but I am not sure. I just know that we're supposed to be continuing on with, like, the level and such. We're supposed to get to a certain point for the plot to get going. All I know now is that we're in the Dalmatian's house for the third time. Again, there's another, there's a purpose to this whole location and all these rooms, but it's like only really there for like 100 complete, 100 uh, percent completion. So we're in the right area. There's another like place we need to go for the plot to continue. 
So those Shadow Heartless have that move where um, if they uh, activate it, they're invincible. You'll know when, that it, they'll use it when they hear a little like sound effect and a do certain pose that they do. Kind of hard to tell, really, when you have the music lowered down, the volume down, and all that. Oh yeah, when they do that little shine animation is when they do it. You can, like, kind of text through it if you are, like, just spamming the button. But if you just, you know, if you're good enough, but if you're not good enough in video games, then you'll just get hit. And you'll also get spirit shards. I'm getting really lucky because some of these are actually, like, rare drops. Okay. Come on, I'm, like, 27 minutes in the recording, and that's, like, this whole thing being unedited. I need to get the plot moving here, people. Come on. Just die and let me go. Jeez! How many more of these guys do you... Okay, you don't have to fight these guys if you don't want to. But I'm doing it anyways because XP. Because this is an RPG after all, and you need to be at a high level in order to, like, you know, get through stuff. Is that another... Oh. Okay, good. They're all dead. Let's go this way. 427 money. Okay, yeah, this, yeah, this, we have to go over here to District 3. To the third district we go. Are these the heartless guys? Let's go get them! Go see And now we have Donald and Goofy on our team. And I have to ask, what was the explosion and who caused it? Was it Donald with a spell miss, like, misuse or misfire or like some explosion? Oh, a protection. Or was that like one of the Heartless that somehow did it? Potion and... Well, Donald leveled up, but I'm gonna miss out on all the items. Oh, hey! We're actually gonna get to the boss. Cool! Second episode, and we're getting into the boss fight. Uh, did the stuff spawn though? I think I, there was another item that spawned actually. No, nope. ooh, yay! So this guy is, I think it's guard armor. I don't remember the exact name, but what I do know is that in the original P uh, PS2 version, this boss has a completely different design where it's like mostly purple and a couple of different other colors. But in the Final Mix version, they actually changed it up to be more varied on the colors, so that's really cool actually. I kind of like the, um, the, the, P the original Kingdom Hearts 1 version though, because it looks more intimidating, because in this one this looks more silly, but you know. That's just Kingdom Hearts for you. I don't know what else to say. Well, actually, I do know what I can say. Donald, in this game, if you couldn't tell already, is the mage user, which he'll focus more on magic rather than physical attacks, which he can do. And Goofy is the tank, where he will be focusing more on physical attacks rather than special attacks. Or, really, like, abilities. So, and he also has more health, and he tanks a lot more hit. You have to keep that in mind for, like, when playing the game. I mean, it's not like you're gonna be focusing more on them anyways, you're just playing the game normally. Okay, so wait, hold on. Where's the, where's the shoe? There's the shoe. Okay. Hey, give me the... Give me the shoe! Thank you. There's another thing you're gonna like, get used to with one of them in particular, Donald. He'll die a lot, so... Get used to seeing him die a lot, uh, the first of the three. <laughs> I really shouldn't be saying that because, like, you as Sora can't really die because the game will be over. Hey, HP and then, I think, strength for Goofy. 
three level ups in one episode. That's nice. Brave Warrior. You were looking for me? Uh -huh. They too have been seeking the wielder of the Keyblade. Hey, why don't you come with us? We can go to other worlds on our vessel. I wonder if I could find Riku and Kairi. Of course. Are you sure? Who knows? But we need them to come with us to help us find the king. I'm right here. Sora. Go with them, especially if you want to find your friends. Yeah, I guess. But you can't come along looking like that. Understand? Mm -hmm. No problem. No sad friends, okay? Yeah, you gotta look funny, like us. <laughs> yep. Whoa. This boat runs on happy faces. Happy? Okay, good, I got it. I was worried that the thing actually went away. Yeah, come on, I have to. <laughs> okay, why not? I'll go with you guys. Name's Goofy. I'm Sora. All for one, one for all. That's a Three Musketeers quote. That little squirt took down that heartless. Who'd have thought it? Such is the power of the Keyblade. The child's strength is not his own. Why don't we turn him into a heartless? <laughs> That'll settle things quick enough. And the brat friends of a king's lackeys. Swung on the eyes, they're all filled rats by the look of them. You're no pride yourself. <laughs> Shut up! Enough! The Keyblade has chosen him. Will it be he who conquers the darkness? Or will the darkness swallow him? Either way, he could be quite useful. Hi, Maleficent. What's up? Make sure you're prepared for the journey ahead of you. We don't know how far the Heartless has spread. Look at the shops here! They've got some pretty neat stuff! This is from all of us. 500 mo- Hey, thanks! Spend it as you see fit. And this is from Leon. Hey, an elixir! Thanks, bro! Good luck! Hope you find your friends. Look out for each other. Keep your spirits up. The gummy ship is outside that gate! Again, I cannot do Donald's voice. You can teleport to the gummy ship from save points. Open the save menu and select the gummy ship. Not all save points let you board the gummy ship, however. The what? That's our ship! Wait till you see it! Hold on! Thora, this is for you! Attain the power of fire. Learn fire. Select magic to cast spells. To cast quickly, assign spells to shortcut buttons in the customized menu. Casting spells consumes MP. Using ethers or striking enemies replenishes MP. Now you can use magic too! Goofy, give him that other thing. What? You know! Oh, yeah! And I got dodge roll! Activate abilities by equipping them. Some abilities are used by pressing square. Others work automatically. Equip them in the abilities menu. Activating them requires AP. Abilities allow you to do all sorts of things. Guess we should look for them along the way, huh? Okay, is that it? Let's get going. Not till we're ready. Well, I see big adventures coming their way. Looks like it's up to me to keep track of it all in my journal. And now, they're officially part of the group. Donald and Goofy. And now, we have... 
journal. This is where all of those like uh, information about like chronicles about sort of story and characters are all being written up. So like yeah, and also characters like the Heartless and now uh, the enemies you fight and the other characters you meet. Which is actually good because I want to go over here to okay yeah it's just soldier, soldier heartless, and then these are shadows. There is a lot of characters and a lot of heartless to find, so it's gonna be a good journey to get this journal complete. Oh yeah, while I'm here. Oh wait, wrong one. But yeah, they have the mage staff and the knight shield and abilities. Dive and roll to evade attacks by pressing the square button while moving. This is actually a pretty useful move for just moving around in general. So keep that in mind. And oh, we got Rocket. I didn't even know Goofy had this at the beginning. I thought he had that like later on when you level him up. Good to know, actually. And actually, give him the Protect Chain. And I guess we'll give... Eh, I could use it more. I mean, yeah, we're set. Oh, hey, there they are. Hey, look at this mark. I wonder what it is. This is a Trinity mark. They appear in many places. Only the blue ones react in the beginning. Thora, Donald, and Goofy can perform various Trinity moves besides these marks. So we press triangle for Trinity. It does that, which allows me to get max the chest. Open it for a postcard. What does the postcard do? Oh no, let's ask this thing. Excuse me, Mr. Mail was sticking out your tongue at me. Mailbox! Then 10 postcards to. Then one postcard. I got a cottage. Now, a cottage. Oh, yeah, we got gummy stuff. Cool. Anyways, the cottage. Fully restores the party's HP and MP. Can only be used for the menu. So if you wanted to fully fully heal your guys up but without using any of those other items, you can just do that. But what's funny is that you can just go over here and have that same cutscene, but for over here. So I didn't have to go over to where Leon, Aerith, and Yuffie are, but I did. And that's where you can see the cutscene. And over here you get a lot of money. The bigger the money balls are, the more money you get. And actually, before we fully end off the video... You're going here and this is the item shop with the three boys. I'm in charge of keeping the shop clean. It's easier than our bedroom. We're gonna earn enough money here to go on our own adventure. Sorry, Uncle Donald. No family discounts. Welcome. Are you looking to buy? Or maybe you have something to sell? Here's the chat. I handpicked everything on these shelves. We carry only the best. So yeah, this is another item shop you can go and buy stuff, but these are more for like potions, ethers, tents, and also equipment for Donald and Goofy. I actually have some money, so if I wanted to, I could, but nah. So, the tent is basically a cottage, except it only does heals HP, not also MP, so keep that in mind. But it is the cheaper option. So, Morningstar, Titan's magic power can only be also be used as a weapon. Made for combat, reduces max MP by 1. There's no reason to have this for Donald. A small shield made for attack rather than defense. A large shield that protects against various attacks. There's another item that they sell here later on, but... Again, it's not like super important unless you want to do 100% completion. So, who's this guy? I haven't seen you. I heard the Dalmatian puppies get got scattered and separated everywhere. How did I mix up those two words as positions and make it sound very like good? I don't know. Poor things. Yeah, like I said earlier, the Dalmatians are scattered. You have to go find them. But with that said, that's the end of this episode. So. See you guys next time, for where I'll be exploring Traverse Town a little bit more, because there's a couple of, like, tiny things you can do, and then we're gonna head off to the next world. Which, oh yeah, by the way, you can do by going to here, the gummy ship.
but I'm not going to do that right now. I'm going to do it later on. So, see y'all next time, and have a good one. Bye.